Right then, ladies and gents, let's talk about top kits and elastics. Quite often, I'll get a question from Facebook, usually comes from a guy who's maybe got two, three, four top kits. They're the top kits supplied with his pole package, and he wants to know what elastics to put in those top kits. He's got such a small amount of top kits, he's not got the luxury of 15, 20 top kits that you see a lot of top anglers have in setting up during a match. A limited number of top kits, what elastic does he put through those top kits? So I'm gonna run through all my kits, tell you what elastics I use and how I set them up. First up, general carp work. Now, if I'm going on a commercial, it's not often I'm fish visiting a, an F1 venue, most of the time I'm fishing for you know, carp, proper carp. Don't get me wrong, there's some F1s in these venues, but when you're going somewhere like Larford, um, you know, th those sort of big waters, Boston, the F1s, they're almost as big as some carp in a lot of venues. They're, they're two pound plus. So for me, that sort of fishing, fish from sort of like two pound to 10 pound, I'm always gonna use a nice thick hollow elastic. I've tried loads over the years. I always come back to this one. It's a blue shot core. It's really thick, it looks thick, but when you strike, plenty comes out. And I think that's really important because if you're catching skimmers, if you're catching the odd F1 in amongst your carp, you want plenty of elastic to come out and you want to be able to net the fish with quite a forgiving elastic, a nice spongy elastic, because obviously you're not going to pull the hook out of the fish. But you want the elastic to power up fast. That's where these thick hollows come into play. And by using it through a puller kit, you can see there, I've got this elastic through a puller kit like all my hollows are. I can always strip a load out, get control of a big fish at the net, then net the fish. Now, one thing I want to talk to you about with regards to these puller kits is with my thicker elastics i think i'm fishing for big fish a lot of the time i've tried short kits they're just not quite right because there's not enough elastic in those kits when you hook one of those big fish short or you know wherever you hook it in the margins long wherever sometimes they go on that really long run where they tear off and you, you're holding the pole and you're praying that the fish isn't going to break you because on those short kits there's not enough elastic in the pole to absorb that first run I've reverted back to slightly longer kits. These are the ultra control kits. They're a sort of happy medium between a standard length top kit and a short kit. And to get a little bit extra elastic in my top kit, I actually use a little Maletto wheel. So you can see my puller uh, bush there. That's where the elastic would normally terminate. So it'd go up down the kit and it'd terminate there. But what I've actually done is I've fitted a wheel about five inch further down. And what that does is it means I can get, take that wheel out for you, it means I can get an extra five inch this way, five inch back, I can get an extra 10 inch of elastic in my top kit, which obviously because we're using a puller kit, we can take in that slack anyway when we're playing a fish, but it just gives me more, so there we go, just gives me more cushion when I do hook a big fish. And obviously, if when I'm, I'm catching those skimmers or those F1s, the elastic feels even softer. So I get the benefits of using a longer top kit elastic wise, but obviously the benefits of using a shorter top kit when it, becomes to, when it comes to netting the fish. So I hope you can see there, there's a little wheel system. That's a Maletto wheel that is, and it fits about five inches below that puller bush. Like I say, just means I get more elastic in my top kit. It's something I use on all of my hollow elastics for carp fishing because like I say, I want to have that extra cushion in my kit. So that's the first elastic, a nice strong hollow elastic that sees me for all of my margin work, five meter work, long pole shallow, long pole on the deck. I might be mugging with that elastic. Anything where I'm targeting two to 10 pound fish, general carp fishing, big, big water fishing. Then we're going to take a step down. So when it comes to slightly lighter elastic, this is a Saturn reactor core. Now the reactor core range is a slightly softer elastic. It is even more forgiving. So it hasn't got that pullback that the shock core, the shock core has. When there's a load of elastic out, it's even really soft. So I use this on my lighter elastics. So this is a Saturn reactor core. And this is for my sort of like F1 fishing, proper F1 fishing, probably rates 
around a 12, something like that, if you were to rate it in old school. I don't like to necessarily go on the ratings that are on the packets. I'm just getting a feel for it, how, you know, old school ratings, I'd say that was, that was rated to about a 12. And that, like I say, is for all my F1 work. Let's just go back to the connection system. Because this is for my F1 work, I don't use a Dacron connector. I use a little bead, and I'll do a little close-up of that because I think it's important. I use a little bead, and it pushes over the knot of the elastic, and it means that everything's really direct. So I can loop my hook length over the top of the, the little knot, pull the bead across, it makes a really neat connection, and it's really direct. I haven't got maybe an inch of Dacron connector sticking out, which might just uh, make the hooking capabilities of that a little bit less direct. However, going back to the thick hollow elastic, I've got a little Dacron connector. And that is because quite often I'm fishing shallow with this, I'm, I'm slapping a rig over, I'm fishing 16 meters, I'm mugging with this, with this elastic, and I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna tangle around the pole tip when I'm doing that. So a Dacron connector just pushes the, the line away from the pole tip a little bit. And it just means that it's a little bit less uh, tangle prone. And then when we're going down again, again, another reactor core. This is for even lighter F1 work. That's probably rated a 10 maybe for shallow work for, for F1s. Not really getting much use that is. I always like to use a, a slightly thicker elastic than, than a lot of people and try not to use the pull of all, if I'm honest. So I'd rather strike ship back, I think it's more efficient to just strike, ship back, still plenty of elastic out, but slightly thicker elastic than other people would use, just so I can net the fish a lot easier. And then, once again, we're getting down to now to, to winter style or, you know, silverfish work, and I've got an orange reactor core. Now, same way of connecting the elastic, just with a bead and a, and a little knot at the end, but because I want to use the same top kit length for everything i've just stepped the bush a little bit so it's not as tidy as some of the top kits i've got but i've stepped the bush there which means i'm using the same bush for all of my elastics that fit in top of these top kits but i've used a smaller bush that just fits inside and it narrows the bore down of that bush the benefit of that is I can use a really small little connection bead at the top. Because obviously if I were to use a little small bead in the original bush, it would disappear down the pole. And, you know, you just, you just, it'd be impossible to use. So by stepping the bush down a little bit, just use, finding a bush going in the tackle shop, finding a bush that just fits inside the original bush that comes with your top kit, you can use a tiny little bead for attaching your line to your elastic and obviously that's a lot less weight on the line when you're playing fish or when you're when you're shipping out you're not going to get as many tangles there is companies that you can get that step down bush already some companies do a, a reduced bore bush i think garbolino um do one i think even diver might even do one now but for me i think it's a really nice way of doing it for for lighter elastics but that is an orange reactor core for my fishing that is for commercial silvers work and winter f1 work Anything lower than that, and then I'll be onto solid elastic. So you can see there, shot core range for heavy duty cart work, reactor core range for lighter hollows, and then I've got a canal kit out here. Beautiful, faffy elastic. That's the original solid high vis elastic. Beautiful. I love going on the canal, catching little roaching skimmers with this elastic. It comes out so smooth and so soft. I've got a little Dacron connector on. Again, I don't want tangles when I'm using this light elastic. So I've got a little Dacron connector on. I've used that little step system again with the bush at the end of the top kit. So there's a little bush in there. It means I can use that little light connector. And importantly with this, we'll still run it through the kit the puller kit, but we've got a little bead on the end. And then if you look here, the first 70 centimeters, 80 centimeters is a really thick braid. It's a really thick Dacron. 
and that just cuts down on the amount of elastic that's in that top kit. If I always have loads of elastic in that top kit and I always hook a bonus fish on the canal, I just have no control whatsoever. There'll just be elastic streaming all over the place. But just but just by cutting down the amount of elastic in a in a silverfish top kit, it means that I'm able to swing fish a little bit more effectively because the elastic just sort of like it 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 doesn't bottom out, but it sort of gets to a point a lot quicker where you can swing fish in. It locks a little bit quicker. And also by having it on the puller bung still with that little bead, if I do hook a big fish and I can get control of it, obviously I can strip out some elastic, net the fish again effectively. So there we go. Hopefully that answers a few questions. It's not a really complicated elastication. You know, I've got a couple in there, probably that pink reactor core, it's probably a little bit of a luxury there. But for me, if I was, if I had to choose between maybe three top kits, if I've got three choices, I'd go for the blue shot core, nice thick, heavy duty carp fishing elastic. The yellow reactor core, my go-to F1 and maybe some light carping. And then I don't go anywhere without an orange reactor core in my, in my top kit. Silverfish work on commercials, really light F1 work, winter fishing, it's absolutely spot on.